Now, when you mark an area of a clip, a couple of useful things that you can see on the screen here, the time code numbers over here on the right side show you the duration of the area you've marked. So right now I've got a section that's six seconds and three frames long. On the left, you can see the actual current time code frame. So as I drag my playhead around, you see that number changing. In fact, you can actually just change that number, just drag and click on that number to move the playhead. I'm not sure why you would do that, but you might type in and go to a specific number. If you knew you were looking for something that was at exactly 25 seconds in, you could click 11.00.25.00, and that will take you exactly to that frame right there. And uh, again, we'll talk more about some of that time code manipulation later, but just to point out what that's there for. Anyway, so we've got this, you know, we've got this area marked that's now six seconds and three frames long. And let's say we want to put this section and put it into our project. This is a nice wide shot of our scientist, and we're going to edit this into the project. There are a few different ways to edit a clip into a project, actually quite a lot of different ways. First of all, if I just click on the picture here and drag it, I can drag it either right to the timeline. You see there I can place it right in the timeline and it's uh, helping me out by snapping me right to the beginning of the sequence there so I don't wind up uh, leaving a little bit of black gap. I can do that, and that will add the clip to my sequence. I can also drag and drop from the source monitor into the record monitor. And you see here, if I there's a little uh, drop target here. If I let go, it's going to add the clip. It says here, drop to overwrite, use command to insert, and we'll talk about inserting in a few minutes. But I let go there, and it will automatically add the clip as well to my project, or to my sequence, rather. So here I've added the clip in one of those two ways. I'm going to undo and do it one more different way. If I look at these buttons down here in the, in the, in the source monitor here, if I just click that overwrite button, it's going to add that clip to my project. And now you see there I have the clip in the project. In fact, there's even one more way you can do it. You can press the period key, and the period key will perform an overwrite edit. Again, so all these different ways, because this is such a common and important task. And now we're starting to build our finished movie, right, by putting that clip in there. Now let's find a different section of the clip that we want to use. Let's find a section like here where she's doing the, making the folding, the little filter there. Let's just go ahead and set an in point there and play forward while she's folding. And, and now let's set an out point right there. And so we've marked that little section there, and I want to add that to the sequence. I want to add it right after the first clip. Again, I have a number of different things I can do. I can drag and drop it to the timeline, and it'll snap right up against the other clip. I can drag it to the to this uh, record monitor here, the program monitor, and it'll add it right to the clip at the playhead position. So if my playhead was over here, and I drag to the record monitor, it's going to add it at that playhead position. But we want to, I'm going to undo, because we want to put it right next to that other clip. So I'm going to put my playhead right back on that last frame. You can actually cheat by using your up arrow or down arrow. It's a nice little trick in the timeline. Press the up arrow to go to the beginning of a clip. Press the down arrow to go to the end. So that now I'm parked right in the frame after that last clip. And I can just drag and drop and do that. And it's going to add the clip there to the sequence. And now I can play back the sequence. I've got those two clips in there. We see her working in the wide shot. And then we see her working in the close-up shot. But there is a little bit of a problem if you're paying a lot of attention, which is that she's doing something different with her hands. Here, she's opening a bottle, and then in the next shot, she's folding this paper, so it's a little bit of a jump cut. The action is inconsistent. So it would be nice to have something go in between there, and that's a perfect opportunity to explain how to use the insert edit, which you'll learn in the next tutorial.